Did you know that World Trade Center Building 7, a 47-story skyscraper, located a football field away from the Twin Towers, sustained minor damage during the collapse of the towers, and it came down at 5.20 on 9-11. That's seven hours after the towers came down. WTC7 collapsed completely from top to bottom in six and a half seconds. That's seven floors per second. WTC7 fell at the rate of free fall for the first 100 feet. This fast. Rethink 9-11. Rethink 9-11 Ottawa! Hi, my name is Isabel Beenan. My name is Tyrone Drummond. My name is Jeff. My name is Dave. My name is Amher. I'm George Francis. My name is Joe. I live in Ottawa. I live in Ottawa. I live in Ottawa South. I live in Ottawa. I was born here. I live in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. What caught my attention about 9-11 was how fast the buildings fell, both the Twin Towers and Building 7. It's the sudden collapse of all three buildings. It happened way too fast. They collapsed in 9 and 11 seconds, completely pulverizing the concrete, uh, the evidence of explosions. They fell completely into their own footprints when they have the most amount of resistance when they fall straight down. And how fast the buildings collapsed. The World Trade Center Tower number 7. Uh, look into that, you'll see why we need to reopen the investigation. The fact that a third building fell that day and nothing was said about it. The official report never mentions Building 7, and uh, I've, uh, I've seen lots of experts on uh, building demolition speak out on this issue and clearly state that uh, what they saw was a controlled demolition. It's different than, uh, than any kind of uh, uh, normal collapse of a building, and it looks strange right from the beginning. From the videos I've seen, it definitely was a demolition job. The, uh, footage of Building 7 and it looked completely like what I've seen in a controlled demolition like what you'd see in Las Vegas. So that really piqued my interest, the speed at which it collapsed and did not damage the, uh, the, the buildings next to it. I do wonder why I didn't hear about Building 7 from the media, but it doesn't surprise me that the media would hide something like this. I mean, if, if the building wasn't hit by a, a plane, they can't explain how it fell. I know the media knows about Building 7 and the ones who make the decisions do not want that information to be widespread. Well, we can't rely on the mainstream media to do the investigation because they are following the NATO narrative or the corporate narrative that they are receiving. So it's really up to independent media and alternative citizen journalists uh, to bring some attention to this case. What inspires me is everybody that is actually trying to get an investigation again. So we're part of Rethink 9-11 Ottawa. We're here at Paul Dewart's office because months ago we've delivered a petition to Paul Dewart and he has refused to present it in front of Parliament. This petition was signed by 1,300 Canadians that have demanded for a new Canadian investigation into 9-11. We want him to submit the petition to Parliament. Please do your job. You owe it to the Canadian people to just tell the truth. I think people should care about this information because uh, it's affecting everything that's happening around us today, including all the wars that uh, that uh, we are in, uh, uh, you know, helping out our American uh, neighbors. The 9-11 narrative has been used to basically hijack the last 12, 13 years and uh, make it into a military state. and. Um, you know, the war on terror, it's just a war on the people of the world. 9-11 was the first of many false flag events uh, that permitted the Canadian government, the U.S. government, all over the world to roll in, um, to roll in policies and laws that are stripping away our fundamental human rights, our constitution, the Charter of Rights here in Canada. All the security um, uh, enforcement that's been happening, uh, and you know, we're humans, uh, you know, humans love each other, and, and you know, I think uh, we're being affected by what we're not being told. The truth is the basis for the society that we live in. Without truth, you can't have justice, and without justice, you cannot have a free society. When we build our nation on lies and we allow untruths to be used as reasons for putting people in jail, for doing things as grave as invading other countries, 
then the very goodness of Canada is undermined and that's something that is important to all Canadians. The over 2,000 architects and engineers that have gotten together and started a campaign to reinvestigate 9-11. I think the work that uh, architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth, uh, uh, what they're doing is, is uh, scientifically found. It's done by accredited scientists. Uh, these are people who are specialists and experts in uh, science and uh, the laws of nature. And it's the uh, integrity that they have which gives me the courage to stand against the mainstream media and the people who are supporting the official story, which is a lie. So if architects and engineers are saying that um, what went down didn't go down the way it was narrated in the media, then that's reason enough to at least look at the evidence again. It's important for people to get together and work together because the mainstream media is very well funded, very large, and they are the ones leading this official lie. The only way we can stand against that is by knowing the truth and being together. We need to unite and stop tyranny from happening. A tragedy like that that happened in New York can happen anywhere. We need to stand up for our rights and hold people accountable. People are just walking around dazed. They, they really don't know what's going on. It's our job to wake them up. People are the power. People are the ones that can stand up to the government and tell them no. And all they need to know is the reason why. Once people find out the truth about 9-11, they will be stronger it will, it'll be much more difficult for the government to manipulate them and when people know the truth then they can make informed political decisions. So it's very important for people to inform themselves and figure out the real facts behind 9-11. Rethink 9-11. Rethink 9-11. Rethink 9-11. Thanks for watching. And thank you for watching. Rethink911.org. That's Rethink911.org. It's physically impossible for two planes to bring down three buildings. I'm a mechanical engineer. I have structural design uh, experience. I've designed structural frames before. It's just impossible.